Hello and welcome back to our Textile Toolbox YouTube series. This film is about a fashion revolution uh, workshop that we devised in 2014 called Who Made My Uniform? And it was originally made in response to the um, hashtag Who Made My Clothes? The inside out hashtag that Fashion Revolution um, kicked off with in April 2014. And this was a project that um, uh, took place in a primary school and it was all about a whole week of activities um, that would inspire and educate uh, the kids in terms of clothing, textiles, materials, um, the supply chain uh, by using the, their own school uniform. So this worksheet is available on the Textile Toolbox website. It's called Who Made My Uniform? <clears throat> and I'll just very quickly tell you about some of the different tasks and the different kinds of activities that um, you as a designer or you as a teacher could get going in a school and actually translate some of these as well into just general clothing questions, not just who made my uniform, but for um, people in general in terms of learning about um, their clothes and sustainability. So the worksheets um, tells you a little bit about the project and who we we did it with and the audience and um, and it broke it down into different kinds of activities, different sessions. So session one included a handling collection and this was a whole range of different materials in a box um, that came with the in some way the kind of raw product, the raw material that the, mater that the, the fiber or fabric had been made from. So we handed around a bamboo plant or some pieces of bamboo and then we handed around a bamboo bit of fabric and it's really just going to kids, here's a sheep and this is wool. Here's a cotton plant and see, see the cotton buds and this is cotton. And just making this association between the fact that the, the fabrics, the kind of clothes that they're wearing, actually come from somewhere. And um, that was a really nice session and it worked really, really well with the very youngest um, of the students in the school. And then we did in session two, uh, polyester shirt upcycling. And that was a real uh, an approach to using um, a discarded sort of secondhand shirt and then showing the kids how to use just black transfer paper and an iron. And we overprinted these shirts together in the art room and then we sold those shirts at school auction. And the whole time we were doing this, we were just talking about secondhand shops being full of old clothes and the fact that these old clothes need to be given a new lease of life. Session three was a natural dye session and this was run by um, Miss Kyoka, one of the brilliant uh, teachers at the school. And she just got all the, the students looking at plants and the kind of dyes that can come from plants and then getting little bits of fabric and just dyeing them and having those all laid out on the windowsill in the sun. And again, just learning that it's the world around us, quite often plants, that are giving us um, our clothes. <clears throat> uh, session four, upcycling a school t-shirt. This was very much about um, taking things from the lost property department that had got stains on them and uh, were too dirty and soiled to be um, to be just simply laundered and reused, but over dyeing them in a in a washing machine uh, using sort of dylon dyes, making a whole new kind of set of coloured garments, and then overprinting or over decorating these coloured sort of shorts and t-shirts basically um, using things like skateboards and tennis balls and this is a really good fun session brilliant to do outside with a whole class of kids um, and uh, just really messy quite messy play and finally session five and probably the most important one and the one that was done as a big school assembly that the whole school took part in um, was the material and uniform origins so this was really what um, who made my uniform was about um, each class had taken 
a garment, one of the school um, uniform pieces, whether it was a, an acrylic jumper, the poly cotton shirt, the tie, the cap, the school bag, had a look at the label, discussed the label, found who, um, found the place that this uh, school piece of school uniform had been made, and then they mapped the whole of the school uniform on a world map, and then they calculated the air miles. Um, so, for example, the thing that had uh, travelled the furthest was um, the school cap, which was made in Vietnam. And um, it was really very surprising and shocking to the kids to see that things that they had been wearing had been made in factories in places as far as where is Vietnam. And then by using YouTube and um, other bits of press, we were able to show them the kind of factories and the kind of working conditions. And we were able to have this conversation about how important it is to look for the kind of brands that look after their workers and um, have invested well in their supply chain. So really a uh, super packed tool uh, to download and have a look at. It's a three page PDF. Um, it's really the sort of highlights of the work I did back in 2014, but in many ways I've been carrying on with this work uh, in schools since then. Um, and I recently gave a keynote uh, at a conference called Play With Purpose, um, which I called School Shirts, and it's all about the many different approaches to working with sustainability and circular design in primary schools. Um, and I will try to get that talk online quite soon if the conference organisers are okay with that uh, so that maybe alongside this downloadable PDF you can also watch the talk and get a bit more context. But of course it's Fashion Revolution Week this week, 20th of April to the 25th of April 2020 and um, it would be great if you if you can't get into a school for obvious lockdown reasons that you start to think about the different kinds of classes and lessons and projects that you might be able to instigate or join um, at a school near you and to really get these conversations growing so thanks very much and see you back here again soon